What's up YouTube? It's Fontech over here with another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 13.0 official release on a supported iPhone, of course, so 6S, SE, or above. Um, if you already have a beta profile and you already installed iOS 13 previously, so 13.0 or GM, like 13.0 beta or GM, or even 13.1 beta 1, 2, 3, or 4, depends. I'll just be showing you how you can actually downgrade or move to iOS 13.0 official. And then from that point, you're going to keep on getting normal updates like everyone else when we had the beta so as always guys stay tuned so guys it's very easy you just have to open ipsw.me guys start from the beginning and this demonstration i'm having an iphone 7 as you can see um running ios 13.1 so um i want to technically downgrade it so first of all guys you're going to hit iphone on the website here then scroll all the way to find your phones so for example in my case here iphone 7 gsm and then just click on 13.0 so that's the official build It's very simple just to download here. In my case, I already have the, I already downloaded the file, so I don't really need it. And I jump right away to iTunes. My phone is connected here, guys. So I'm just letting it do a backup. I'm gonna speed things up. So guys, um, I decided not to do a backup. So what I'm gonna do now is just check for updates. And since I have the file already, I'm just gonna on the MacBook hit on the option button. On Windows, it should be shift. And this will just uh, show you open a f open the files and just you can pick up. So as you can see now it worked. I'm just gonna type in IPSW in my case, and here I have four point seven test iOS. So should just download it. So just click on open, and I'm gonna hit update. It should extract the software and then update. So worst case scenario, guys, um, your phone may restore, and if it restores, then um, you're gonna have a backup already for iOS 13.1. So once Apple releases iOS 13.1 within two weeks, you're gonna have it. You're gonna have a backup for that. So you're, you will lose technically your data for around ten days till you get iOS 13.1 official. So as you can see guys, um, extraction finished and my phone is asking for my code. Just type it in. Now it says preparing iPhone for software update. The iPhone is supposed now to restart. We'll see what happens.
Okay, guys, as you can see, the phone is on. I'm just going to jump into settings here. It definitely feels smoother immediately. So as you can see, 13.0, that's official one though, guys. One important thing to do is you have to delete this data profile of yours. So you'll just get normal updates from now on. All right, guys, there you have it. So now I have iOS 13.0 official on my iPhone 7. It means it feels, feels smoother than iOS the, the, the beta. Um, so it's very simple, guys. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And hope you guys like the video. If you did, hit, us, hit the thumbs up button. And peace out.